Hi, Cancer. You're getting ready to do your reading. All right. Okay, you have justice, so it might be the sign of Libra. You have the Six of Cups. Some of you specifically may have a Libra coming back into your life, or you're going back to a Libra. Two of Wands, Seven of Coin, and the Queen of Swords. Definitely some air here. Could be Earth, too, because you have the Page of Coin under the deck. Some of you may have someone come back to you, and they want to go over the past, or they may even want to argue about the past, but... Um, Somebody wants maybe justice for something in the past because this person's looking, you know, at the coins, which can represent something that they did before. Usually that's a good card though, but I'm just kind of feeling like someone's, someone may be looking at the past in a good light, also like nostalgia. But with justice, it's like somebody wants justice. Somebody wants an answer. They want to know something. Um, but let's go back around because I'm not quite sure what's going on here. You have the Hermit, so you might be dealing with the Virgo, or you may... <sighs> okay. All right. All right, guys. So underneath the deck is Temperance. So again, Patience. So some of you are going to be hearing from somebody coming up here. Um, they want to start again. Either they want to start again or you want to start again. But somebody is deciding, no, that that's probably not a good idea. Let's end it with the world. Um, if someone tries to contact you, because we do have the, the wands here, so that could be a lot of messages, a lot of communication. It could be a king, not just a queen. But s someone's going to like bring up the past is what I'm seeing. Like They're going to go over with the Six of Cups, everything that was good, and they're going to be like, hey, let's, let's try this again. We had great times together. You know? You're going to review it too, and I feel like you're going to be open about it with the Seven of Coins. You're looking at the past. And you're not looking at it in a negative light with the seven of coins. You're willing to just look at it and say, okay, what was good? What was bad? And then you come to the conclusion that it was just too much work. It was too heavy. Um, so you probably were in a relationship with someone and you did most of the heavy lifting is what they're saying. I don't know why it's that, but like you did all the work or you put in a lot of effort. Um, there were some good times, of course, but there was too many bad times. There was just whatever. I don't know what happened in the relationship or why this, this you view this person as being ten of wands. But you're thinking, you know what? I don't really want to do this again. It was too hard for me. See, this person's missing you. This person knows that they lost a good thing. They know that they probably screwed up. They may have left you for someone else or cheated or whatever. But now all of a sudden they're realizing, hey, I think I want to go back to the past because... You know, cancer was a really good partner. I screwed up. Hey, let's do this again. Let's 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 go back and fix it or start again. Because that's what the Ace of Swords to me is in a love reading, a new start, not new love, new start. Justice, you don't want to go there. I think you're just going to come across very like you. You may not even communicate with them. Or you may have to cut them off because they're not listening. But I feel like you just see things very clearly. Like, no, this is not a good good idea. Um, I don't want to do this again. This is just, no. So let's see what they do. So heads up, you could have an ex. Um, I feel they may be a little bit forceful and like try to really state their case with justice. And I feel like you're going to get overwhelmed and irritated by them. Like they're talking too much. They're trying to communicate with you too much. Like... They know they screwed up and they're trying to apologize. They're trying to get you to see everything their way. It's kind of what I'm feeling off this reading. Yeah, Ace of Coin, Four of Wands, the Star, the Three of Cups. And yeah, see, they're going to come back with an offer. And they're going to make it sound really good. They're going to pitch either like living together or getting a new home, like moving in. Um, you know, they want this new start. They're, maybe they got a new job. Maybe they were jobless back then or something. Three of Cups, they want to take you out. They're going to offer a date. I mean, I have two things here of like going out. This sounds kind of good to you, actually. So they're saying things that may actually spark your interest. Um, whatever they did wrong in the past, they've actually worked on it, and they seem like they have fixed some things. They want to offer you something stable. They, maybe they have done a lot of inner reflection with the hermit card maybe they have realized that they really screwed up and what they did to you was you know bad and they missed you know a really good opportunity with you 
but let's see what happens. It could be an Aquarius specifically. We do have Libra, Virgo, but. All right, let me go back around one more time. There we go. Where is it? Chariot. Okay, so yeah, three of swords. No, yeah, that's, this is kind of what I was thinking was going to happen. Okay, so it could be an Aries, but more than likely, got a lot of harsh energy. It's like someone's covering up something. Someone is trying to act all nice and loving, and underneath it, they're really not. They have not changed. If they have a temper, they still have a temper. Um, they're going to sound good. They're going to say, you know, that they want to get to back together, that they changed, but they're either going to break your heart again. I mean, it's showing up here or you're going to remember like everything that they did. That was very hurtful. Chariot is about moving on, moving forward. And that is your card. So I think for a moment there, you kind of get, to, you know, you kind of think, yeah, this could work. Maybe this could happen. But either they say something, they do something. If you do decide to go out with them with the Three of Cups, like you go on a date just to see, something is going to remind you of the past. Um, they haven't changed is what I'm seeing here. And so you have to just kind of stay calm. I think this is going to bring up old feelings that are negative. So careful of that. And then if you tell them no, you turn them down, they could become very cold. You know, they could be, you know, get kind of angry. Could be a girl, does not have to be a guy. But, um, so heads up about that. So, and also I'm getting, for some of you, you have, you know, either you started a new job, you moved, you're getting things together, you're making plans, and um, you have maybe have new friends, or you're maybe even dating someone right now. So don't let this interfere with the path you're on. It's a, you're on a good path. You're moving forward. This could kind of trip you up, that type of thing with the three of swords up there, five of cups. This could, you know, and I just feel like you're, you're making progress. So don't, I would say possibly like, don't, don't even bother with the three of cups going out with this person, listening to what they have or giving them a chance. It could really cause some heartache. Yeah. But I think you like this person. Some of you really do like this person. So it is hard to resist them. It is hard to say no. They may be very manipulative. You know, they know how to, you know, to say the right things to you. So, you know, that's kind of what this is saying. Like, be strong. Move away. You got to just have balance. Don't get involved with this person again for the second time. Definitely. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.